Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Age of Engineering. We're back from the moon. The moon was fun. There was lots of stuff on the moon. Um, but I think it's kind of time for us to go backwards a little bit. Uh, we, we made huge advancements uh, over here in the mining dimension. Uh, we built all the stuff we need to launch a rocket. We launched the rocket, we saw the moon, and it was amazing. But I'm starting to run into some real serious problems. What with resources and space and trying to automate things. And it's just, things aren't working for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to go backwards a little bit and we need to set up some things we should have set up like ages and ages and ages ago. And the first thing that I want to do for that is actually setting up, oh, I don't have anything in here, uh, a mob farm. And you can see I have one disturbed spawner, mob spawner here, and I believe that's a blaze spawner. But I also have these spawner shards. In between the episodes, I went to the nether, I found some um, blaze spawners and things, and I got these spawner shards from them. And we're going to need those because I want to make a spawner changer. <clears throat> and to do that, I can't believe I don't have enough magma cream. Well, let's craft that, shall we? So, we oh, we also need a block of diametine, which... I just happened to cook up between the episodes. It doesn't take that long anymore since we've got, well, we had <laughs> full power in here. Uh, yeah, that's another thing. I have got to get on some more power generation because this is not doing so well for me right now. <clears throat> but in any case, we are going to fix all of that. Um, so I want to set up the mob spawner. Um, it'll have an enderman spawner, a blaze spawner, and then cursed earth for all the other kinds of mobs. And then eventually I'm also gonna want a wither skeleton spawner in there as well, because uh, that will give us the wither skeleton skulls that we need to automate the wither, which we will have to do before we get into draconic evolution. I know, <laughs> should have done this ages ago. Uh, <laughs> In any case, um, also doing a mob spawner will start netting me enough ender pearls that I can just get rid of that or I can change it over into a tree farm to help um, my forestry farm keep up with the demands of my advanced generator. But all that is for later. Let us first set up the spawner changer. Spawner changer. Here we go. Very nice. Now we just gotta go find an Enderman. That'll be easy, right? I could go to the end and just get an Enderman there. And that might indeed be what ends up happening. Ugh, I don't want to deal with you guys right now. We're just gonna fly away. It would be a pain, but do what you gotta do, right? Alright, here, Enderman, Enderman. I'm checking out the mini-map up above as well. See if I can see any Enderman popping up in the icons. Figures, there's just, there's never an Enderman around when you actually want one. There's some skeletons. Oh, I see one. There he is. He's out this way. And I just have to, I think, right click on him. Yes. Okay. Now he's captured. Great. So we head back towards base. I don't know if you can change the mob inside a disturbed spawner, but I thought it was better just to go change the spawner and then do the drop of evil to uh, to get it. <clears throat> so let's head into the nether. 
Whee! Much easier to navigate around here now that I have flight. Uh, okay, so I marked off the spawner when I was here earlier. You can see the pump still working away. Gotta love it. So back this way. It's weird wearing the boots because they jump in midair <laughs> when I hit the space bar. All right. Coming up on our spawner. Uh, oh, you know what else I should do? I should get the drop of evil ready so I can just quickly grab it. I like using the disturbed spawners over the... Um, Whatchamacallums, the powered spawners, because as the name might suggest, the powered spawners require power. Whereas this does not. Okay, let's click. So now that's an Enderman spawner. It is. Okay, great. So let's get the drop of evil. Click on it, and there we go. Restored mob spawner with Enderman. <laughs> you can see all the XP left over from when I was here before, finding off blazes and things head on through. Now I, I think I'm going to set up my mob farm in the end actually um, because at some point I want to move my base and I'm not sure if I want to move it to the mining dimension yet. But I do know I won't move it to the end. <laughs> and since this is going to create a ton of endermen, we uh... We don't want them flying around everywhere, you know? Okay, gold ingots. Let's turn off the engine. <laughs> and shove these in here. Now these... Great, okay. <clears throat> these are gonna be speed upgrades because since these are from extra utilities, you can use speed upgrades in them. I know, right? Uh, okay, so let's see. Spawner. So there's our blaze spawner. They can also use a redstone signal to be turned on and off. So grab some redstone conduit. I wonder if I have any extra that I can make. I think I might need more than that. Yeah. Oh, I don't have anything. <laughs> cool. Alright. That works. Oh, something I set up in between the episodes is a trash can. Um, I put the insert mode on this as priority one, so it will try to put everything in here first. But when this stuff is full, which it, it does get to be, uh, it'll dump it in the trash can instead. That way we can still get all this stuff. Look, I got a calculator plug. Awesome. Uh, we can get all this stuff out of the algorithm separator and we can continue collecting like the uh, basic circuits and stuff or the, the what you call them, the stable circuits. Um, but yeah, things don't overflow or jam up or do anything like that. It's probably wasting a lot of circuits, but we have so many. We're never going to need that many. <laughs> All right, uh, let's shove this binder composite in here. And then make some redstone. Um, that's not what I need. Uh, where is it? Redstone, redstone alloy, right. I don't even remember how to make this. Silicon and redstone. I, I should have remembered that. <laughs> Question is, do I have silicon? I do. We'll just make up six of these. <clears throat> yes, when I get my new base, there will be auto-crafting 
auto crafting like crazy. And then let's get some redstone lamps so that we can light everything up and go inside the trap if we need to. And see how that's doing. It's doing very slow because this is still missing an octadic capacitor. Why are you missing an octadic capacitor? Still very strange. Oh, you know what? Yes. <laughs> Energetic alloy, too. No crafting CPUs are available. Oh, except it was. I did the vibrant first so that this wouldn't craft the energetic and then use it to make the vibrant. Sometimes I think ahead. Not very often. I know. <laughs> and not very well. But. Okay, double layer capacitor. Gotcha. Octodec. I'll put you in there. That ought to speed things along considerably. And then we make up the redstone conduit. Brilliant, that should be more than enough. Let's grab a lever. If I have one. Lever. Mm-hmm. Lever. Should be the only one I need. I think. All right, we also need some dirt. Grab 64 of those. Actually, let's grab two stacks of dirt. Then we're gonna need some vector plates, which need conveyor belts to do, which needs either rubber or leather. I hope we have enough leather, or rubber, rather. And that's gonna have to do. <laughs> Basalt slabs. I know we have enough of this because, oh my gosh, how could we not? Oh, seriously? Come on. <laughs> Give me all of them. There we go. Oh, I have some extra. Mm, all right. Okay, so hopefully that'll be close to enough. And then to actually kill the mobs, we're gonna use diamond spikes. Blah. We get four of them out of this, so it's not a huge deal. One, two, three. It's still expensive. A block of diamond. And that should do it. Awesome. Okay. So we also want to make an ender chest. And I hope that I have everything I need for this. Oh, no. No, I don't. <laughs> and this is why we're making the mob farm. Ender... Is it a head? What is it? Enderman head, yeah. Enderman head, no. Okay. So, okay, what we will do for now then is we will grab a chest, just a regular chest. Um, this doesn't have iron chests or anything, does it? No. Okay, so we'll make it a double chest <clears throat> and we'll pipe everything into there and then when we get our first enderman head we can um we can make an ender chest hopefully 
All right, let's see. Okay, so we got diamond spikes, chest, we've got vector plates, we've got dirt, we've got the drop of evil, we've got the two spawners, we've got the redstone lamp. Okay, I think we have everything we need. If not, well, it's gonna suck. Oh, I don't have any way to take care of experience. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Because it doesn't drop the XP like the balls. It just drops the solid experience. So we'll just deal with that as we get it. And okay. Let's go fly to the nether. Uh, not the nether. The end. Do I not have my waypoints on? Of course not. All right, I'm going to start flying over there, and I will bring you guys back when I get there. See you in a bit. Okay, we're here at the portal. Um, there was something that I forgot <laughs> that we're going to need, and that is the ender tether. And that's easy. It's just an ender pearl and some wither dust, which I collected while I was killing uh, wither skeletons. And then some obsidian, a redstone torch... And that's it. Easy, easy, easy. This is going to keep the Endermen from running away. I mean, they're going to escape, but it'll at least help. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. So many Endermen. Let's find a good spot for this. If I'd been... Ooh, experience. If I had been thinking about it... I would have brought a teleporter so that I could come back and forth easily. But that's okay. That's okay. We're not going to worry about it. Okay, so let's... So... Set up these vector plates. And remember to keep the vector plates from moving you. You just have to sneak. Two, three. We should decide where we want the spikes to be, too. Spikes can go. Right here. And then we're going to need one. Right. Uh, not quite. There we go. And we'll keep the ender tether there. Perfect. So then what we're going to want to do... I'm running out of battery for my stuff. Is we're going to want to put dirt down all through here. Because we're going to use the drop of evil to make cursed earth. And because everything is end stone, it'll keep it from spreading. I can't actually remember if you can put vector plates on top of cursed earth or not. I think that is something I should try out, but not right this second. Uh, okay, so. Although we don't need that much for, like, zombies and such. Let's go ahead and just fill all this in. That is what I wanted to do, game. Thank you so much. The 
this is very haphazard. <laughs> All right, so let's move this. I want to make sure the Enderman and the Blazes have room to spawn. Disturbed mob spawner. Redstone on. <laughs> so it's the Enderman one. And then the blazes can go right next to it. Ugh, not fast enough. Here, the blazes will just sink down. You know what? I want to try this first. <laughs> hey. Somewhere I can break it easily. So... Of course, that'll use up my drop of evil. Do I have another one? I, I have two more. Okay, so I'm okay. In the name of science! So drop of evil. It can have the vector plates on top. Good to know. If I put it down and then put the vector plates on top. Can I then hit it with the drop of evil? This is some very <laughs> expensive experimentation. I should probably be doing this thing creative, but we're doing it live. Yes, that also works, okay. That is good to know. All right, I'm gonna go break all those <laughs> I'm gonna go break all of uh, all those, put dirt down, and um, ooh, the spike got me. And I'll bring you back in just a sec. Oh, actually, never mind. I'll just do it even faster. So yeah, this can all be cursed earth. Nice, very nice. Do I have a weird definition of nice? Probably. Hello? Oh, my drill's out of... I'm completely out of battery juice. That's no good. Good thing I've got my old trusty pick. Never needs battery. Of course. <laughs> it seems so slow now. of that and put down all of this dirt and I don't think I needed as many vector plates as I got that's okay and now let's lay down these Okay, I'm going to finish laying down these vector plates and do a little bit of cosmetic work down here, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back, and 
and I've done some things. <laughs> um, I set up the redstone lamps, and oh, now I can't get out of here. Um, and I hooked all three of them up to um, more redstone conduit, and I ran that whoop, up to the surface so that I'll be able to turn these on and this off. And another thing I have to do real quick is that is not that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> You know, I probably should have waited to put these diamond spikes in. But, yeah, I have to right-click on the bottom so that it forces these to connect, because it won't naturally connect. And let's go ahead and close this mess up. It's not that much of a mess. <laughs> I hope those three will provide enough light to keep the, uh, the cursed earth off while I need it to. But I guess we will see. Okay, so everything should be hooked up in here. Oh, I also have to connect this. <sighs> Not like that. <laughs> Let's actually just get this out of the way and it'll probably be easier. There we go. So force a connection. I think redstone signals can travel through endstone. We're gonna find out, aren't we? Okay, lever. I don't want to turn it on yet, <laughs> but I can. I can check with this one. And this one, I ran out of. Uh, oh. So that should turn the lights on. Is that okay? I've got two. Why is this one not turning on? Why is why is this a thing that you do to me? Mm. Probably messed up a connection over there somewhere. Anyway, the two should be fine. If it's not. Well, we'll find out very quickly. <laughs> Close that up. Yeah, that should be okay. All right. <clears throat> so, we now have our blaze spawner, our enderman spawner. We're going to have some cursed earth in here. There is another thing that I forgot to make. Let me turn off this light overlay here. Um, I need... Is it an ender hopper? Yes, ender hopper. To this, we need another unstable ender pearl. Again, no big deal. A hopper, some obsidian. Oh, I guess I could just use a regular ender pearl. Eh! <laughs> That's fine. It just ate one of our chests. That's also fine. All right, ender hopper. And then we need a chest again. So to set this up. And like I said, uh, once I get my first enderman head, I'm going to actually, hello. <laughs> I think the ender hopper can suck stuff up through the wall. So let's do it like this. We'll give it a trial run. See if it works. And then that. And then let's drop something over here. And it's already gone. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> All right, so let's seal this off. And you know what I forgot to get also? <laughs> Silly me. Uh, I forgot. To get those speed upgrades that we were going to get. That's fine. You know what? We'll just 
we'll see how this works. And if I need the speed upgrades, I can turn everything out off and it'll be a good test. All right, so. Something's going on in there. <laughs> Should probably get some glass. <laughs> How about some infused? Good stuff. Oh, there's an ender pearl. Why, thank you. Here blazes. So the spawners are definitely working. That guy's very confused. Oh, my ender tether. Whoops. And also, I forgot to do the. I forgot to do the uh, cursed earth. Think I can get it from here? Oh, hey, look, an Enderman head! Drop of evil. I know what I'm doing. Let's get it ready to go. I'm not gonna put it in yet. Let's go turn those off. Hey, Enderman. And let this stuff die a little bit before we. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Okay, Ender Tether. Needs to go. Wait. Like that. Um, and the lights are currently off. Spawners are off. Okay. Alright. I think we're ready. I think we're ready for the cursed earth portion. Was there anything on this? Or can I... Yeah, no, we're good. I would just like to be able to see what's going on. Alright, okay. So let's get this cursed, cursed earth going on. And diamond spikes and stone. I'm gonna have to tunnel over a little bit, it looks like. That's okay. There. Ooh, and there we go. Ooh. Is this only gonna spawn Enderman? This is only gonna spawn Enderman. Oh, that's annoying. I forgot! Alright, well... So I guess that's the thing I forgot about Cursed Earth, is that if you use it in the end, it only spawns Enderman. Well, I guess all we really needed for the farm was blazes and endermen anyway. I can't believe I wasted all that time thinking about the spawner though. Okay, well let's head back home and let's make... Actually I'll need another enderman head so I can make another chest. So I'm gonna hang out here for a bit, try and get another enderman head, and uh... Whoa, you're loud. I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, we're back, and I came back home, um, and I started making some ender resonators, but I realized that we are completely out of time, and plus some, for the episode. So, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, we'll come back next time, and we will finish setting up the mob farm, and we will set up a system to take care of all the mob farm drops. Very exciting. I'll see you then.